Welcome, everybody. You ever feel like your life is just too complicated? There's too much family drama going on? You don't know who you love sexually and who you're related to? Sometimes it's both. Welcome to the attic. It's Macy's Peasies. I'm basically like one of those um, movies where it's like the action is very loud, but the yeah. dialogue is very quiet. Yeah, I would put an equalizer on you. <laughs> I do. In if post. it was possible. So. <laughs> in real life. <laughs> <laughs> but like once the technology's here, just like I'm a, buying that for you. Like a, I'll crowdfund it if I have like to. Like a Bane kind of mouthpiece. No. <laughs> do you ram it down my throat and massage it down like I'm a dog with a pill? No. Welcome, friends. We're here. Hello, dear listener. It is a Monday for us. It'll be a Friday for you. Yes, we we punched in, we punched the clock here at our job for you, which is to give to you Misty. To give you to get you Misty. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, there you go. Get there you mi- go. Get Misty immediately y'all. with the gross. Congratulations. Get Misty, y'all. Mm. Uh, which is the first novella. <laughs> In the uh, Wildflowers miniseries. And it would not have been my desire to do two short short boy collections back to back, but I think that's what Wikipedia said was the release time, and that's yeah, just kind it, of our guide. Yeah, our it's guide. way easier to keep track if we do that. Yes. Um, I will say that another like gardeny flower thing is complicated for me All, because when I went to like queue up the books to read, mm-hmm. I was like, oh... I don't have the, the what do you call it? like the the annex yeah. the annex of this book. Yes, the the fifth boy the fifth boy um, into the gardenish because I thought that I had it because of we were like oh garden because of uh, garden of shadows mm. into the garden of shadows uh, ipso facto bt dubs um, cat, like these aren't flowers <laughs> none, of, none of these are flowers. They're they're like a mist, like a mist, perhaps a star, a jade gem, a, a kitty cat. Oh god! Well, like, tiger lily cat. Uh, jade could be the color of a flower. Uh, star stargazer lily, and you get you get a, a mist morning mist on the flowers. Gets dewy pants. Well, <laughs> now who's making the pants moist? Uh, it's Tia and Katie making your pants moist. Here we do be Scooby, Chuby, and Yahooby, and I'm gonna read <laughs> wow. the back of the... Oh, thanks, man. You're welcome, man. Uh, for the coaster. Misty. Trapped in the middle of her parents' bitter divorce, she hides an unspeakable secret deep inside. She hates them. <laughs> Now brought to Dr. Marlowe's therapy group, she's about to meet three other girls who just might understand. Now, let me tell you, friendos, uh, singular, is that <laughs> is that I received <coughs> some some textual messages. Right. Yep. Hello. Uh, yeah. So where Tia was like, I cannot read this book. <laughs> I feel. What, what do we say? With no offense to the head injury community, reading this book makes you feel like you have a head injury. Well, especially, like, bouncing immediately from, you know, the Orphan series and Runaways to this one, where... Okay. So the whole Orphan series, each one of them encountered somebody else who was like, what's it like to be an orphan? And they're like, mm, kind of shitty, like this. And they're like, I, too, am basically an orphan because my parents are never home. And then all of our protagonists were like, that's kind of insensitive. You literally don't know what it's like. And then in, like, the second or third page, we have Misty be like, I call this the OWPs, Orphans with Parents. And I was like, are you, you just said, what? How's your honk? Honk. Honk. (laughs) So that, like, started me off on, like, a why, why, why. Yeah, it doesn't get better. (sighs) No. It's like, (laughs) it, it does not get better. We haven't, we open, they're going to therapy. We have Misty and her. In- instantly, we have a model mommy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or Again. Be- a beauty mommy. A model slash mommy. <laughs> <laughs> be a model or a mommy, and both if you want to be shitty. Sorry, Cindy Crawford. Um, Aw. I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know she has kids. Uh, 
Age. Sorry, yeah, sorry, Cindy Crawford. Sorry. I think that's just the first person she thought of. It is. That's the first model I thought of that was a mommy. I know, but she's probably great. What do we know? She could be terrible. I don't know. I don't want to speculate. Well, let's not speculate. All right, all right, let's all stop. Right, fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> quoth Mr. T. Uh, aging is a disease in our house. And then she's like, mommy was afraid of gray hairs and wrinkles and calcium deficiencies. Or like, one of those is legit. Yeah. Yeah. Be concerned about your calcium. Yeah, have calcium. Don't have brittle bones. Yeah, that's okay. That one's just thrown in there like it's a ridiculous thing. I know. Well, it's like, oh, maybe it kind of illustrates, like, you know, Misty is going to lump all these things together and not care about her calcium. End up with osteoporosis. Because her mom was so extra about everything. Maybe. It, and then she's like, clearly the, this, this doesn't matter, like other stuff. We don't know how old mommy is. Is she like super young and she, she doesn't need to worry about osteoporosis? When should you be really be worried about your calcium intake? Um, I think as a woman, we're supposed to make sure that we like stay on top of it before it becomes a problem. Like with everything. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mom bills the divorce dad for expenses. Expensive ones. Yeah, she's like... Whatever she, she's can trying build. to be like super frivolous so that way she can uh, keep the alimony payments high. To show it, you gotta show a need for the Yeah, expenses. she's like, clearly it's not enough. Look at how much money I spend, which is, oof. What a, what a, what do you call it? <laughs> Ra- a what, racket? What a racket. That's what I wrote next was orphans with parents. What? Yeah, that's what I got. I was like, what? That's where I went. You gotta be kid. I just, I mean, can I even read this? Uh, there's a divorce war metaphor. A head filled with bees and sunspots make family problems. You you remembered oh, a little bit. You made a little God. more noise yes, about the sunspots. Because okay. I was like, well, well first uh, of all, it, you know, reading this, it's like, point of view, Misty, coming to this doctor's appointment for the first time. I want to lay that out real quick. Because, real quick. Oh, hold on. Okay. It's not her first appointment. It's no, I know. It's the first group there. Yes. Okay. But she's like, it. it's like, kind of present tense, like... I went to here. Yes, but then she's got all this, like, later on, I'm like, how did she have all of these um, descriptors of these other girls and know about them before? Because it wasn't like, I remember the first time I had a group meeting with Dr. Mm Marlowe, and then I learned these things. I just felt like that was clumsily written. Throwing that Shocking. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Another note of mine. Flower metaphor. Dude, we're only on the third page of the hecking prologue. Okay. Also, Cat is butterfly, basically. Very quiet and del- well, quiet. Mm-hmm. Um, with a recycled Kathy name. Come on. All right. Misty's in 11th grade. Her classmate, Arthur Polk, the computer whiz, said all of Stanley's problems come from sunspots. And that's when I wondered if I hit my head. Um, for actually real, though, a quote, his eyes seem to roll like marbles in a teacup. And uh, who the heck is rolling marbles in a teacup enough to use it as an analogy for how someone looks? And if that was happening, take that person to the hospital. <laughs> and that's when I needed to take a break. <laughs> for yeah. the first time. <laughs> for the, the first of many breaks, uh, maybe you put a marble in there to stir it up. What? Like, <laughs> no. What kind of, like, marbles, like, first of all, if you were shaking marbles in a teacup, they wouldn't just go, like, back and forth. They would swirl around each other. Like, what? Whose eyeballs? Take them to the hospital. I thought, I'm sorry. I thought you meant the person who was putting marbles in teacups needed to go to the hospital. No. Okay. The person whose eyeballs <laughs> roll like marbles in a teacup. They need ta- help. Take them to a professional. <laughs> Some sort of optometrist, perhaps. Um, May- maybe an exorciser. Yes. A priest and an optometrist. Mm-hmm. An optometrist priest. <laughs> um, what's her face? Uh, what's her face? Misty. Uh, everything jolts mom's nervous system these days. I felt the need to know. Oh, but I wrote the whole thing. Oh, good. Because it was a prize. That was a great when I picked it back up and I was like, seriously, the analogies in this one are wilding the fuck out. <laughs> The way everything jolted her nervous system these days, I thought she was like a pinball machine that I'd shook too hard would go tilt. Her eyes would take on that glazed look of dead bulbs, and she would get lockjaw. What? <laughs> Hospital. What the fuck? What? Uh, what? Why is lockjaw like a pinball? Ma- I don't. No. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, anyway. Which was like having psychotropic drugs. Yes. His he- eyes are rolling around like marbles. <gasps> In a teacup. Uh, so Don't crack that teacup. Emma the receptionist has a smile as phony as plastic fruit. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, doctor, the doctor who is an expert on parenting is not a parent. Oh. Even though. Even though. She wasn't so unattractive that no man would look at her. I mean, at least you, she's fuckable. Ish. <laughs> and uh, then we find out that today's the first day all four girls are going to meet. And I'm like, okay, Dr. Marlowe has told them all some information about each other. Isn't that like fully violating Dr. Patient? HIPAA. Con- 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 condensing knowledge and yep. na- nationality yep. slash HIPAA. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Duh, ba, da, ba, ba. Could a psychiatrist even be romantic, or would they analyze every <laughs> moan inside? This is a recurring theme about... Yeah. Oh, who was that? Crystal? Uh, Pearl. Pearl Pearl and, Landry. And Crystal, maybe, too? A little Mostly bit. Mostly Pearl, yeah. But Pearl was a lot about, like, I pictured the hormones thrusting through oh, yeah. my hormonal factors. <laughs> Pearl enjoyed us. <laughs> uh, <laughs> which is a, a recurring uh, theme for any female who's into science. Who's got a smart at all. A singular smart. Clearly, you're like, I did not know how to calculate how fields. How to calculate a feel. Can I calculate a feeling? Right. Pearl Androidus. Yeah. Right. I am Pearl Androidus. Yeah. I do not know men, 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 many fields. <laughs> uh, I'm coming apart. I'm a 16-year-old yeah. torso. Yep, that's... Searching I, for a way out of this nightmare house already with the drama. It has, tor- it has it's no, torpid. no doors or windows in this house. Dad's 20-something girlfriend has mirrors in her head. Oh, I got that. I thought it was funny because Misty plays clarinet and her mom was like, it's gonna ruin your orthodontic work. And she had to get like a signed permission slip from someone. It's like her band teacher had to be like, I promise calm you. the F down, Mrs. Misty. Oh. What is her last name? I don't... They said them they, all, and they I... They said it briefly. Yeah, I didn't Who gives a fuck? Down. Okay. Um, receptionist Emma wears enough perfume to cover the stench of a garbage truck, so maybe she's an alcoholic. Sorry. That's another full quote that, that I You were like, I can't handle this. Yeah, so, je- dear listener, I wrote down a lot of full quotes, and then I just sort of... The end. Like, lay, laid down and took it. <laughs> like, it's just... <laughs> Everything after was like one sentence. Like I don't. I can't. Oh, that was it. So I think this is this is the. Yeah, one of the last like. F- yeah, this is the last long quote. So. So you had a little bit more about please, Dad's girlfriend. Please love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Mirrors in the head. Yep. I guess Daddy was comfortable with her because she looked like a Revlon model. Mm, Revlon. Whatever pronouncements he made, she nodded and widened her eyes as if he had just come up with a new world-shattering comment. Mostly, Ariel gave him sex. According to my mother and her friends, that's all men care about. She was like, wow, Trader Joe's. <laughs> He's like, the sky is blue. And she was like, oh my God, it, it is. is. <laughs> so, um, yes. Back to Emma. Back to Emma. A Misty. Recycle, recycled name, Emma. Yeah, of course. Um, Why wouldn't you? <laughs> Misty's in her monologue on Emma. I wonder if she was an alcoholic. She wore enough perfume to cover the stench of a garbage truck, so it's hard to tell from her breath if she drank or not. But she had gained at least 40 pounds since I had first started with Dr. Marlowe. And when I told that to Mommy, she said, maybe she's a closet drinker. It better be a walk-in closet, I thought. Fucking harsh. Yeah. Harsh. Okay. Get it? Because she couldn't fit in a regular closet? That's why she said that. She fat. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Um, my next note is legit LOL at uh, her dead whale shirt. Yeah, I it forgot was like, what I said. I, 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 oh, nice, I, nice, Yeah, nice. I, found, I found it miraculously. Nice. Um, oh, I just saw the words heavy. Yes, Emma has a heavy bosom. Um, mm-hmm. uh, each breast shaped like a football holding the flowery tent out and away from the body. Nice. We glazed over that because garbage truck alcoholic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I Speaking was... of tents away from bodies, we're both wearing moo-moos today. No, we're both wearing caftans, caftans. today. And you know what? I don't really feel f- terribly football-y. I feel sick. Sleek. I feel square. I feel fashionable. I mean, I don't not, but I also feel rectangular. Um, I wore my usual costume for these mental games with Dr. <laughs> Marlowe. Jeans, sneakers, blah, blah. Any one of a dozen t-shirts that annoyed my mother. Mm, Rambo. <laughs> uh, today's had a beached whale on the front with a stream of black liquid drooling from its mouth. Under it was written, oops, another oil spill. <laughs> <laughs> I want that shirt. <laughs> I mean, that shirt could be made at any time. It, it yeah, could still be time, made. I mean, it's it, timeless. That shirt would sell forever. So maybe we should go into marketing that shirt. Great. 
because it's always going to be applicable. Aww. Probably. Star arrives for group therapy. <laughs> yeah. She has an enviable figure. And what? Dr. Marla failed to mention to Misty and the cover artist that Star is black. Um, at first glance, without at knowing. At first glance, okay. Yeah. I mean, they gave her, like, kind of a stereotypical curl to the hair here. Yeah, they gave her ethnic hair, but, again, ethnic like, hair. if you're just, <laughs> like, picking this up, you're like, oh, okay. Like, maybe because I just real, assume yeah. I'm seeing white girls at this point, Correct. too. Yeah. But, I mean, apparently she had a black porcelain face. Yeah, black porcelain face. And this is no. very light caramel. It is like a like a macchiato, like a, like a latte. It's it's like a like a very good like a one of those like frothy white milks on top of it. Yeah. Like that. yeah, 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 yeah. I could. mean, yeah, it's got she's got very white girl highlights. It's like someone went like, could you just kind of? Can you like delete some of the darkness of the skin? Yeah, like, what the hell, that? y'all? Uh, yeah, I can't wait for y'all to see it. Um, so she has an enviable figure standing like a couple of gunslingers. Uh, Star versus Mi- I wrote Star versus Misty in a ridiculous name off. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. It's like that's your name. I'm like, yeah, is that your name? Yeah. <laughs> and then Jade arrives, very glamorous, emerald almond shaped eyes, lush brown rusty hair. And then I asked, is Misty unattractive? Because we didn't get any descriptors of, of to her physicality. Oh yeah, we did not. We didn't. In the in the next one, we either. don't either. Huh? Yeah. Interesting. Um, unless we, so, unless we gloss the fuck over it. I don't know. And she's like dressed to the nines and very like hoity nose in the air kind of gal. Um, <laughs> I was named after my eyes. Babies are born, born, babies are born. <laughs> I blot the place. Babies are born with like blue, <laughs> with like a cloudy blue eye. <laughs> they call me cloudy blue. Like an old dog. <laughs> You look at the baby and you go, oof, oh no. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Bring that to the same optometrist priest as the teacup marble boy. Anyways. Um, so anyways, everyone's all great. And then all of a sudden, oh. We heard footsteps. And moments later, Dr. Marlowe appeared with a chunky girl who was about as short as I was. She looked older, though. What is that? Okay. Her dull brown hair lay scraggly, straggly about her neck and shoulders as if someone had been running a rake through it. Her loose gray pullover did little to de-emphasize her really ample bosom. She had breasts that nearly rivaled Emma's. Wow. She wore a skirt that, with a hem that brushed her ankles. Her face was plain, with not even lipstick to bring some brightness to her watery hazel eyes, pale complexion, and bland, uneven lips. Her mouth twitched nervously. So, Oof, ah. uh, this is what my note on dear Kathy. Kathy is ugly of the uh, ample bosom. Yep. Uh, chunky with dull brown scraggly hair. I also wrote scraggly. Yeah. Okay. It's scraggly, I guess, but scra- scraggly Scraggle's is more of our word. We scraggle. Yeah. Scraggle puss. <laughs> oh. That's what I call it. Now, she probably has a str- scraggle, scraggle puss. <laughs> <laughs> What are you turning me into? Um, it's like that uh, old character from Hanna Barbera. Yeah, Snagglepuss. Scragglepuss. <laughs> Scragglepuss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to know? What? No, okay, forget it. That's a side to side. We don't need to go down. Doctor Marlowe isn't unattractive, but is all limbs and almost no torso. Yeah. Yeah. Just like a, pla- a playing man. Oh, they have a long one. I don't know. Like, like a, plant, a daddy. Like a plant pot. Like a like a daddy long leg. Sure. Like a like a like a therapist long leg. <laughs> A doctor. <laughs> and here we do be with the premise everyone must tell that story. <laughs> Misty lives in a Beverly Hills mansion and loves talking on the phone. That's her thing, talking on the phone. She's like, oh my god, my favorite thing's talking on the phone. Mm. Uh, apparently, that's what my parents joke about, that I had a phone glued to me and that's why I ripped out of my mom's vag. It's why her birth was difficult. Episiotomy. Just tore her way out the womb. <laughs> uh, days are colored, how doll and gander. Mm-hmm. Darling ganger. <laughs> uh, mom cut dad out of family pictures like that scene in Mommy Dearest. The armchair is a metaphor for the father. What? Mm. I don't know what I'm saying. She, well, she was saying that, like, her dad what always said. Say- what am I saying? What are you? What? I remember the context the, the, of this, okay. yes. She was uh, saying that, like, the mom got rid of mostly everything right after the, the, the dad The moved, divorce. The divorce. The dad moved out. The, de- the dad. And, um... 
that he had like one chair in the living room that was always where he sat. Mm. And so after he moved out, she would like crawl in it and like smell smell daddy cologne and stuff. And then when mom removed it, there was like an empty space there that really Uh, felt like he was finally gone. What a hack metaphor that I blocked out. Um, Yeah, you sure did. I don't think it's that hack. Misty had... She can picture him in the chair. And mm-hmm. now she can't picture him She's at all. She's Misty eyeballs. Oh, boy. Misty had a black nanny and looks to Star for approval, but she gets none. She's like, hey, is that all right? And Star's like, I'm not even going to acknowledge that. Yes, yeah, and she's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> Also, apparently, j- earlier when Jade entered the room with her nose in the air... Literally. Like, there was a moment where Misty was like... And it seemed like she noticed for the first time... That J- uh, that star was a black girl. Like they keep being like. Oh, and also she's oh, black. Oh my god! Like Emma's like, Ooh, I'm so uncomfortable around you. We'll get there and start. No, that happens in the first oh, one too. Is, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <sighs> she's like opens the door. <sighs> Anyways, here I am. Uh, Misty's mom used to literally run away from her little toddler questions. Yeah. Nice, that's good. Yeah. I like that. She's like, ew, gross. No, I don't want to go by. Daddy has an even tan, again with the even tan, mm-hmm. and flax and hair. It do be returning. Yeah. It's good. It's, nice it's Chris one. Flax egg. Oh. Chris one. Kiss Chris one, Kathy two. <laughs> v- version 2.0. Yes. Version. Mm-hmm. <laughs> version chunk point scraggle. <laughs> version Windows 95. Oh. And like Kathy Dollinganger her is like. Windows 10? Is like uh, Intel inside. Oh. It's like, but does she have Intel inside? No. Oh. I don't know. She's like an Apple AirPad. Okay. And, uh, and this Kathy's like a, it's like an Apple II computer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dot matrix printer. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Where were we? <laughs> Daddy met his little Barbie at the gym. <laughs> mommy is mommy now. Previously mommy. Yep. We yep. switched to mommy. Yep. Mommy. Has had a facelift and is truly afraid of aging. Yep, yep, yep. Dad has to cheat because mom was frigid. Well, Misty tore her way out the womb, and then her mom was like, ugh, I don't, I don't want to, like, the sex hurts. And so he's like, oh, clearly I have to have an affair. So, Daddy, he said she was too frigid. Well, it's a great thing to talk to your child about, by the way. He said she was too frigid most of the time, and when they did make love, she was always complaining about the pain. (sighs) That's not normal, he said. You've got to see a doctor about it. I did see my gynecologist, and he mm. said, nothing was wrong with me. You're just looking for an excuse. I don't mean that kind of doctor. You should see a psychiatrist, he said. You make me feel like a rapist every time I want to make love. If you feel that way, check yourself. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Like, I can't imagine those words being said to me. I don't think I would be, I mean, I clearly would not be with a person like that. I, but that's, that was so... A thing extra. Extra. He could have been like, I just feel like I can't satisfy you. Leave it at that. Maybe don't go into your no, dark thoughts, to, Dad. He needs to come. Um, they he use, can still come, but maybe t- uh, don't <laughs> use the words. Uh, they use silence like a knife. I enjoyed that mm-hmm. visual thing. Until he complimented a dress. Then it was fine. Yeah, they would like fight and then wait. I thought that was the uh, the this and then they had that fight. No, that, no? okay. There was, was a just like, there was like another issue. Would be like, oh, it would be like so icy cold, and then you would break the silence and be like, that's a nice dress, and she was like, I know, like she'd be like, she, oh my that's god, what, that's yes. what she wants mm-hmm. because she's like, eh. um, and then Misty's like, there's so many cards. I was going to be at the who could who could write a card and be lying in a card. Why write a card if you're going to lie in the card? We're talking about like greeting cards, yeah, or like, like, an like dear wife, or you are the card. most. Thank yeah. you for being in my life, sunshine. <laughs> Misty was gonna be in their vow renewal, and she's like, I might just go to any wedding that day, which I kind of wasn't. I like that too. You know what? I feel like that's like a uh, what like a that might be a cathartic thing for you, Misty. I, go see some other people who are still in love, and be like, you know what? It can still ha- it can happen. I also noted about Misty that she's sarcastic and uses jokes to cover her feelings. Love it. Yeah, I don't. I don't know anybody else like, like that. that. Who is like that? Uh, how did I know? Definitely not me or you. How can someone send a car if they don't mean it? Misty hates Doctor Marlowe's patience, tolerance, and understanding. She's a teenager. Kathy has a gaspy, bosoming event out of no, like nowhere. It's like a, a very bosomy event, which uh, which happens a lot. She always has reactions. Yeah, and everyone's like. Ooh. 
And Dr. Morrow's like, fucking ignore that. She's like, attention. God, She's like, yeah, Missy, what were you saying? Don't look. Don't fucking look at that. Avert your eyes. There's a secret put away heart makes an appearance. Yeah, page 38. Okay. Yeah. If you need to know. <laughs> 36. Page 36. I'm sorry. Uh, wowzers. Mom was secretly on birth control. Yeah, dad wanted more kids. But and she, uh, she wasn't a size two anymore, so she didn't want to have the... The churns. Yeah, the more she churns. was just like, oh, I'm definitely trying to get pregnant with my secret birth control. Nice discussion to have in front of your kid, because she was like, they fuck you up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she I think their fight was not in front of her about it. She just happened to be there. Well, all right. No, I'm just, I'm saying definitely mom said to Misty multiple times, like, kids ruin your body. You're going to look like shit. But the uh, the birth control argument was like just something now, that she was kind of. No, what do you? Rece- I know. What do you receive your birth control in? A little pla- little plasticky flippy toppy boy, right? When I took it, yes, yes. It was just a little, either a little plastic flippy toppy boy, or like then they stopped doing the plastic and it's it just was just a blister ju- pack. Just a blister pack. Mine's inside my uterus right now. Hmm. Great. The, uh, so so could it shatter a framed print? Um, if that frame was made of sugar glass, perhaps. And you had a pitch like Cal Ripken Jr. Was he a pitcher? I think so. Nice. Maybe you look at it. Fucking daddy hums the birth control pack across the room. <laughs> hums it. You never heard that? Yeah, like, I gotta throw a hum up. <laughs> I like that very much. Hums it across the room. And it shatters a framed print. Yeah, like, what? <laughs> Has Neil even seen a birth control pill? You know what happened? He, he rubber banded it to a brick. <laughs> <laughs> like people do when they throw through windows of people, the neighbors they don't want there. He was there. like, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, he had it. He, like, had a drawer. He, like, rummaged in the junk drawer for, like, a few minutes to find a rubber band. Yes. And then, or, unless mommy is so extra, she put it in, like... Uh, a gilded case. She probably had it in a gilded case. And he was like, I don't recognize this gilded case. <laughs> Me investigate. He, yeah, where did you find it? Under her pillow or something stupid? Something dumb. Like, I don't know. With she, a metaphor, he ripped open her gilded case. Oh my god. Oh my god. So, that happened. She doesn't want to get bigger, so she doesn't want a baby. She's afraid he will cheat unless she stays beautiful. That is, I mean, those are feelings you talk to your spouse about. But she also, as is aforementioned, knows that all men want our, se- our sex. All men want our sex. <laughs> all men want our sex. A R E. All our sex are belong to men. <laughs> there you go. That's that's the joke yeah. I was going for. I enjoyed also this descriptor. Misty feels like she's being lowered underwater each time she speaks. Yeah, they all kind of have their own like different metaphor of like what happens How- when they start getting like like anxious, super emotional, yeah. like. Tra- traumatized. What yeah. do you call Triggered. 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 Um, Triggered. Daddy's trips take longer and longer. They argue over bills. Uh, let me tell you. It's never just about money. No. Have you ever read, read Dolores Claiborne? Have you ever read? Have you ever read Dolores Claiborne? No, but I know you love that book. I do. Yeah. You've um, read it multiple times. Yeah. I do that. Um, so there's a bit in Dolores Claiborne where they, she said she was fighting with her husband and she said, money on top, other stuff underneath. Mm-hmm. When it, there's always on something underneath. Yeah, but definitely as a 16-year-old, you're probably like, oh, like, the, if, fi- if the only finances. They could figure it out. Like, oh, money, why does that matter? Uh, notated, mommy being beautiful is a waste to daddy because she don't fuck. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Misty is an argument pawn. Um, the house vibes fuck up Misty's period. Yep. The vibes are off. <laughs> For her uterus to expel. Yeah, did she... She just has irregular... Yeah, irreg- yes. Which, I mean, stress can cause that. Sure, but the, it was presented as, like, the vibes being off, which tickled me... Tickled my uterus. Um... <laughs> I think that's your... That's my IUD. Yeah, that's your IUD. I was gonna call it, it your UTI. <laughs> oh, no. Which would also perhaps tickle, tickle in a burning stuff. way. It's like a burning tickle. Tickle you with an icy hot finger. <laughs> no, no one wants the old... Sweat. Finger dipped in tiger mom. <laughs> so... <laughs> <Would you put you? laughs> Nobody wants the fiery fingers. Um, you know, teach their... Um, the school nurse was fishing for gossip, question mark. She's like, she was on? like, the school nurse looked like she was fishing for gossip. Did what, really? She could have been projecting. Mm. Mm. Uh, <laughs> As a teenager, Daddy threw a look at her that would have shattered her face if it was a fist. 
I get, I'm really Ooh, into it. <laughs> I know, but I, that's the face I like to give. I'm scared of you. Ow! <laughs> I'm cracking. Uh, they like had porcelain. Oh yeah, and then she's like, "Daddy's like hitting the gym, and he's like getting his haircuts, and they tried to look so young, but now look so old to me." She's like, probably because like she's like, it just became pathetic, like yes, the old pathetic I, yes. bag of mid bones. midlife crises. <laughs> you divorcee. You pathetic divorcee. Her parents are probably in their mid thirties. <laughs> I know, like. right? And like, she's, a- she's Andrew's Niederman town. Yeah. Everyone has a baby when they're like twenty. Yeah, like I imagine that her folks probably. Did do that. Mid to late thirties, yeah. Yeah, I don't think they're even forty yet. If they are, I'm surprised. People die many times over before they're buried. Believes Misty. They I, die on the inside. Yeah, that's. I was like, and have yeah. a rebirth. Oh. Yes. Uh, yeah. You enjoy that? I've felt dead on the inside multiple times. Oh, okay, great. During not this, currently. Okay. High five. Ow. <laughs> I'm an aggressive high fiver. You are. Uh, during Misty's story, here we all do be with the others. Jade's eyes fill with tears. Kathy chews her face. Star has a face of pure terror. Yeah, I don't... And when we get to Star's story, you'd be like, why are you... Why? Why? <sighs> also, Niederman started writing Star, like, her, like, um, her, like, uh, di- not dialect, but, like, the way that she spoke, her, her cadence, I don't know, like, kind of dumber than the other girls, and then that went away. So I'm glad of that, but she, she was, like... What you doing, girl? Like, at the beginning. Yeah. And then it just... A, bl- a black scent. Yeah, he gave her a shitty, like, a really lame, clearly you're an old white man black scent. Mm-hmm. And then it, thankfully, just kind of dissipated. Yes. But um, why even do it? Um, because you're kind of a hack. Um, Ooh. And then Miss, he's like, the separation was happening right under my nose. Daddy will be in an apartment nearby. She's alone in the island of happy memories. A oh. promise is a lie in disguise. Not always, but mm-hmm. I understand that she would probably feel that way because um, of, like, her folks being like, "Every, don't worry, everything's going to be Every fine, weekend. blah, blah, mm. blah. Daddy being like, I'll, you can visit every other weekend, whatever. And I think they probably became lies in disguise. Mm. The Beverly Hills wives have a restaurant dinner on Xmas Eve. They were they were never under anyone's thumb anymore. So they're like, we're not under anyone's thumb anymore. And I was like, were you? First Wives Club. Mm, I've never seen you that. You don't own me. I've never seen that movie. Me neither, but I've seen the trailer okay. a lot. They all sing, you don't own me. So don't give up on your dreams, even if your dream is to get your parents back together. Ooh. Mm. Oh, 16, again. Uh, what year is this that divorce is a lunchroom scandal? I was wondering that, too. If I mean, by the publication, it's the late 90s. Is it? I think it's early aughts, isn't it? No? Something like that. Yeah. Is That doesn't make a whole lot of... Yeah, I think that, I again, mean, Niederman's just out of touch here. Yeah, 99. All of them oh, came very out 99. Oh, very much, yes. Um, Clara the Loudmouth gets shut down and turned turns away her face the shade of dry blood. Dry blood. Dry blood. So she became, like, oh, rusty brown. Rusty brown. Welcome Ooh. to the stage, rusty brown. Rusty brown. <laughs> Um, excuse me, I need to change my underwear. They're rusty brown. <laughs> oh, Kathleen. It's a, it's a dusty flow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage. Dusty, dusty flow. flow. That's really good, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna if te- anyone wants that, you have to pay me I gotta for text it. Andy about that one. Dusty, dusty flow. Remind me. Okay. Dusty Remind flow. me of the dusty flow. Dusty flow. I know, you can't. I have no pen. <laughs> I have no pen. <laughs> Honey. Uh, Misty felt the news was broadcast over Gossip FM. Mm. No one is t- ever talking no about... Maybe rich kids do. Maybe rich kids. How would we know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would not. If you're a rich kid... Do they gossip FM? Did you gossip FM in your high school about a divorce? A divorce. Please email us at podcast at gmail.com or comment at our Instagram. We are at podcast. Excellent uh, integration. Yeah, Cross we never platform. get emails. I'll say this again. Just email us. Even if you're just like, hey, I hear you never get emails. It's okay. I like, I like the DMs on Insta. I know. I just like, I love okay. it more immersed. Our, our uh, fan... Our fan are wonderful. Yes. And it's a more immersive, yeah. longer... Just anyway. wanna, I just want to have more of a community with our dear listener. Uh, where am I? Misty's grades tumble even more, and Mommy must take Daddy's role in the chat, but at least she knows his stage position. She, like, brings Misty into Daddy's office and, like... To have the school chat. Does all the same, like, posi- positions. Mm. Mm. 
physics. She's like, ah, the hands behind the back yes. and the, the pacing. Like and the, this, mm. this is the school chat talk. Yes, I have observed it before, and I have taken notes. I have taken many notes on the school chat. Um, frowning or grimacing makes wrinkles. That's not true. I think it is. Any any repeated facial thing. What about resting bitch face? That's what that, I got going on. Yeah, that's why your skin is beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, that's why you have nary a wrinkle, and I have the forehead ones because I'm always like, ah, shock it. And that's because I'm like, oh, mm, frowny. Squint at my crow. The, gla- the glasses arm hides the little eyeball, the crow's feet. No, babe, no. Okay, great. For being a forty-year-old, your skin is like great. I amazing. Avo- avoid the sun and have no expression, everyone. Um, yeah, so she's gorgeous. Mm-hmm. An envy of all these mothers. Cindy Crawford, look out! No, seriously. Behind you. Frad. Wow. <laughs> that was really funny to me. <laughs> Misty is doing poorly in school to embarrass mommy. Oh, great, sure. Thinketh mommy. Thinketh the mommy. Like, also, who's going to talk about? She's like, you're embarrassing. Like, her friends her, are going to hear about her club is gonna... grades and be like, oh, you should be embarrassed. Look like, at that who, shit. Whom is she being embarrassed to? Uh, also, mommy's going to age quicker because of the divorce, but she's holding off on dating for Misty's sake. <clears throat> okay. But she's like, it's because I look like shit, but for you. No, you don't. Okay. Enter enter Charles Allen Fitch. 6'1 with mahogany hair and speckled hazel eyes. And uh, he sounds like a fucking sociopath. Oh, That's yeah. my first read on him. Oh. Is because, like, the teachers are all like, I feel like I have to talk to you like an adult. And he's like, yes, do not call me, Charlie. Do not call me Charles. I will not respond yes. unless you call me Charles Allen. I abbreviate it to CA. Yeah, that confused me when I was reading your notes at first. <laughs> Ka. Ka. I'm going to call him Charles Allen because... That's what it... Because I'm not pushing that I'm scared. He's um, going to find me. He gave me super, like, um, Bateman vibes from... Yeah. American, like, he's going to end up... Yeah, American Psycho. And American Psycho. Uh, I believe just, he is. I was just thinking about already. that movie. Um, his fam has an even bigger house than Misty's big house. A valet <laughs> lays out his underwear. Yeah. All of his stuff. Shines his shoes. He has an older brother, Randolph Andrew, or as I call him, Randy Andy. Randy <laughs> I just, Andy. I'm just writing notes to make myself That's chuckle. That's really good. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> they have divorcing parents in common. Hmm. Yes, what was the, the dad's name was something insane as well. I don't know why I didn't write it down. <laughs> Come on, Tia. Was it Randy Andy? No. But, oh, apparently Charles Allen has a way of lifting the right corner, and she calls it a, called it an Elvis lip. <laughs> Her, Her labia. Her labia lip. Uh, no, his. He was like... I know, but I like... Fine. Shit on my joke. Well, it wasn't good. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. I like you. Um, oh, frick. Anyway, so, yeah. Uh, so, did you know... I have a note here to myself. Again, one of my no contacts notes. Ow! <laughs> Ma'am! <laughs> What was what? Who burned the smiles off of Kathy? I don't know. Whomst. Whomst. Oh my like, god, his oh. father's name is Benjamin Harrison Jackson Fitch. That is such a long name. Thank you. I, we paused it so I could there scuttle was, around these pages looking. For 4,000 minutes. It was 4,000 minutes. And it was right after Elizabeth Howe Fitch. That you read, though? That was the first thing you that read? That was the first thing I read. And it's the two, two lines. The next line. Oh. Anyways. I, uh, I, someone I burned the smiles off of Kathy. So, <laughs> Charles Allen. Misty had heard that he had an older girlfriend at USC, but it was just a cousin. Nothing romantic. But in the VC universe, you never know. Ooh, um, yeah, you know. That could have been a spinoff. Charles Allen's mother is thin but wide in the hip. Shouldn't have had that second baby. No, should not have had that second baby. <laughs> like, that's what Misty thought. Yeah, she was like, oof. Oof, uh, Watch your hips. Mm. Um... <laughs> There's a genuine laugh from Charles Allen, and they bond over their mutual family trains going off the track. He's got two different laughs, like a ha ha ha, and then yes. like a ha, ha, ha. a real laugh and a fake <laughs> laugh. They have a clumsy smoocher, and Kathy gets squirmy wormy at the kissing part of the story. Yeah, she's like, mm-hmm. a good squirm or a bad squirm, we don't know. To the worrisome mm. expression of the good doctor. Yeah, she's did like, you note that? She's like, oh, mm-hmm, no. Mm-hmm. Uh, Miss DePropa lost control and started honking away. Yep. Uh, she wants to, but doesn't want to. She demands that he be more forceful. 
She's like, our tongue's touched. She was like, yeah. just take it off. She's like, I'm not going to take it. She's like, just do it. But I'm not going to make you, I don't know. And then she just unbuttons. She just like releases the tits. She releases her titties at him. <laughs> at him. Oh! After he gives her a tour, they have deep discussions. And then she's just like, wow. Clang. Clang. Sprung. <laughs> sprung. <laughs> uh, <sighs> that was like a high firm spring. <laughs> Yeah, didn't didn't her mom like say something about her boobs, or was that someone else's mom talking about boobs? Someone else's I don't boobs. Know. I don't know. She, like they're she, perky. At start, demands to know if Missy telling the truth. Yeah, what? Why? She she, was, oh yeah, because she was like, "Did you fest. really?" Yeah. Yeah, she gets topless. No sex on that day. At a later time, though. Charles Allen meets Mummy, aka the world's biggest flirt. Oh my God, she's like Charlie. And he's like, I, I've been cringing. Oh fuck, she calls him Charlie. Mm-hmm. Fuck, he hates that. And she's, and Misty's like, it's Charles Allen. She's like, oh please, we don't have to be formal. Come on, Charlie, let me show you where I sunbathe nude. Or like, yes. basically that. Uh, he despises being fawned over. There's Which more. I don't believe. Mm-hmm. Because you know, mm-hmm. uh, there's more gropey makeout times, much to Kathy's apparent delight. Yeah, this she was like moistening her lips. Yeah, she was like, when they were just kissing, she's squirming like she's on an anthill. Maybe she doesn't really like sexy talk. Maybe it's I super mean, maybe she's aroused. Perhaps. She could be. Mm-hmm. Her clit could be engorged. God so, damn it. So, did Nita Bain write the phrase, made me wet? And here we take, please. So, we have differing opinions on what this means. Because they were like, kind of dry, dry humping. humping. And, um, the wet humping. And she was like, hey, no, 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 no. And he was like... Don't you know about boys? I can't just stop. And then the quote was, and he got excited and made me wet. I take that as... He came he, on her. Yes, he ejaculated sperms. Spermazoa onto her. I mean, I read it as arousal. Nope, I don't think so. I mean, I believe you, but I was just like, oh, oh what? Maybe yeah. if it was, and he got excited and it made me wet, oh, okay. perhaps, but no. He, I think it's really the phrase made me wet. I just didn't I mean, yeah, that expect. Was, I mean, I'm not a fan of that as a thing. Oh, but I do. Be, I do be do be believe. Let's get a poll up because you know we're what? gonna put a poll up in all of these books. Uh-huh. Does Niederman even know that pussies get wet? I mean, we talk about the tingles. We talk about <laughs> most private place, but no one's ever like. I was fucking damp. Like, oh my god, I got a moistness that I had never experienced before. I mean, he must know. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Um, but they, the 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 females when they do a sex that is that is wanted, um, talk about the uh, the arousal, and I think that's what it means. Yeah, but it, there's never been like a any sort More of even hint to that. Fair. So, I. I'm still. I have, you have questions. Uh, no, I'm just like I'm doubling down. Oh. Made me wet means that he literally, oh, physically, not figurative. Wait. Did a jism. Did a jism. I guess either way would be physically, but he made her wet with himself, <laughs> not with her own self. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's just an abrupt end to the makeout times. Charles Allen will have protection next time. He's like, you're right. I'll be prepared. And she's like, what if I? Did, I, did you just decide this? Or mommy decides to date. <laughs> Kathy is shivering. She's trembling so hard, and Doctor signals to ignore this behavior. Oh. Uh, you know, so mommy and uh, the old broad there, Misty, <laughs> <laughs> forgot her name for a second. They are on a date on the same time, so they're getting ready to get her. Mm. Um, Which was kind of cute. She was like, I actually felt like we things bonded. weren't fucked. Yeah, like, we bonded a little bit. Like it was a real they moment that I've like... always wanted with my mom. She wasn't like complaining that she had me. So they're gonna, Charles Allen and Misty are gonna go to pizza and a movie, and she's wearing jeans and a tank top, or similar, but Mommy says, you should always dress like you're going to prom, even if you're going to just movie and a pizza. I do. I'm dressed like uh, prom now. Anyway. In my caftan. She's like, Daddy wasn't there for my real first date. She's, Charles Allen spikes their drinks at the pizza place. Yeah, so they actually, like, leave the movie early, it's too. So, uh, I don't know. And like, now that we have all this time, I don't know. Yeah, he's just got, like, some crumb. A flask. A flask of rum to put in their Cokes. Um, yep. So it's, oh, it's a servant's night off. Oh, it's a servant's night off. Well, That's let's crazy. Just, let's, just, let's just hang out nothing. Well, I mean, let's, nothing's Let's go back to my happen. place and not not. Sex. Not for what you think. Of course. We're going to go not We're just going to spend time together because I care about you. Oh, 
Misty passes the not wanting to watch a porno test. Yeah, what? He was like, we can watch that. And she's like, no. And he's like, ha ha, I knew it. <laughs> what? Like, <laughs> I absolutely think if she was like, all right, he'd be like, sick. Yeah, that is also, yeah. Yeah, two pump chump. Yeah, two rum and cokes later, they have an unenjoyable sex. And he's like, ugh. It's because you're inexperienced and I've had a ton of sex with prostitutes. You've definitely like, done so many sexes. Yeah, the uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, he lied about his parents' divorce, by the way. They're yeah, and then divorce. Misty never talks to him again because she He's, calls. Or no, so, it's in the it's in the society pages, I believe. Oh it yeah, she sees in the society she sees pages. his folks together, and she's like, mm. and then she calls and asks for Charles Benjamin Howard bullshit Taft Taft <laughs> Charles Benjamin Taft Roosevelt Benjamin Taft can <laughs> <laughs> thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah, so she just never, she was like, ugh. Because I think she, well, she definitely, um, what do you call it? Like, she confronts him about it. Yeah. And, and he's, he's like, like yeah, whatever. Well, too bad now. I already fucked you. I already fucked you. And she's like, ah, click. Doesn't uh, talk to him anymore. The group agrees that it's the parents' fault for making mystery, mystery vulnerable to a boy like Charles Allen. Well, not I mean, an unfair I, statement. Yeah, I think definitely the, the situation and not having the support, you know. Kind of go off the rails a little bit. <sighs> Mommy says, never believe anything any man tells you, even if he wants to write it in blood. <laughs> All right, Angie Jolie. Jesus. Uh, ooh. ooh. Um, <laughs> Dr. Marlowe is also a child of divorced parents. They kind of, like, Give spin on rug. her, and they're like, listen, how do you even know? You don't even have kids. She's and then like, she's I like, was my one. I was one. I was a child, and my parents were also divorced. And I'm still living in the same house of divorce, and Emma still lives with me because of her divorce. Not at all weird, by the way. No. Um, did you note know this? Which one? <laughs> Misty and children born of sexual assault feel the same way. Yep. I guess not. Yeah. I don't even remember that. That's what she assumed because she is unwanted. She's like, I imagine that me and children from the yes. R words. Yep. Yeah. No. I, and I thought that was a fucking bold, Mistake. uninformed statement. <laughs> Misty. Misty. Misty, you are taking after your father. Ooh. Oh. oh. Throwing around our words. Not that one, the other one. Uh, like, what? 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 Like, to come <laughs> to that conclusion, you are so disillusioned, ma'am. I know you are 16. And I know you do not have a lot of You have a sweet whale shirt. Experience. <laughs> But, like, come on, you gotta know that those are different. Like, <laughs> you can feel like, a you know, someone with an unwanted pregnancy. But not from sexual assault. Like, come on, Misty. Wow, I did not know that. Yeah. Mommy's youth-seeking measures kick into high gear. Mm -hmm. um, oh, at lunch, right? So did then I have yet? Daddy takes Misty out to lunch, mm -hmm. and she gets real with the fucking questions. Yeah, and it it sounds like that's the first time they're talking about, like, the sexual marital prop marital pro They're treating it like that's the first time they're talking about the sex problems when she talked about them. Yeah. Well, I guess... She might have overheard an argument, but now she's like, tell me. Oh, but I guess she could have been like, this is what happened, and then, like, this is the first time I heard about it. Okay. okay. Her mom had um, this... this Disparate, disparunia, dispari, dis a fucked up badge. Uh, yeah. So sex sucked for dad. No oh, boo hoo. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, you got that too. <laughs> what? What, I, what? What? Uh, Ariel. Daddy claims he doesn't want to talk bad about mommy for Misty's sake, but she pushes it. Um, this is also another marriage down the tubes because the Mrs. quote unquote can't fuck. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Like, mm. neither. That is, that is a fucking theme. Wait, we got, um, Audrina? So many. Who um, else? who else couldn't fuck? <laughs> Don't put me on the spot. Um, uh, oh, oh, uh, the, remember the mom who was just like, having the sex ages you, and then we were like, no. Yeah, Jillian. Jillian's like, no, orgasms age you backwards, bitch. Right. Like, this is a theme that he does, yeah. is women who don't slash can't fuck. And then it ruins a marriage, because that's all a marriage is based upon. Yes. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's because she's in love with herself too much. Um, I mean, I'll, yeah. So his cheating was justified. Yeah, totally. Oh, wow. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, just, just have a conversation and get divorced before that happens. She has mirrors all over the place to catch herself at different angles. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Uh-huh. That's, I picture, unless it's, I picture you having that someday. I mean, unless it's like a bad angle. Well, you'd remo you remove that mirror. I'm not going to put a mirror down here. You, were, you will No, you will not. 
She put it on the floor. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. Um, <laughs> cheating was justified, of course. Mommy pounces upon Misty's return. Oh my god, yeah. Was she awful. was like, You fucking talk about me. You're lying for him. Uh, the thin, brittle laugh makes an appearance. Oh, yeah, I love those. Uh, and then she's like, Daughters always favor their fathers. What? I don't. Well, you know, the, the saying, Daddy's girl. Mm. Mama's boy, Daddy's girl. I think that's just to cross. Pollination. <laughs> it's a cross pollination. Uh, and Ooh. Misty says, You can both kill each other for all I care. Nice. Love that. That's a very, like, 16 year old. My parents are getting divorced and fighting over me. Mommy presses her mouth up to the closed bedroom yeah. door and just continues. <laughs> I picture her like mouth like fully just like we're going yes, to yes. Mickey, you gotta fuck like the dad thing. We're gonna fuck my fucking dad. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about my shitty vagina. <laughs> my shitty vagina. You're wiping the wrong way. <laughs> you got a you got a dusty rusty. You got a <laughs> uh, You not don't wipe side to side. Side to side. It's like a wax on, but it's like in a circle. Wow. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I am. Um, <laughs> nope. Uh, I'm like a peeled apple. I don't know where that's from. I don't remember it. I have no she's context. She's talking for about you. like her skin being peeled off, and she's like a peeled apple because they're pulling her skin off. The f- you see the, the fuck? Yeah. Analogies, metaphors, all of them. They are wiling the fuck out. <laughs> Daddy says Misty's mature enough to meet his new girlfriend. Which is, like, I think it was the first weekend that she's Misty gonna was going to spend apartment. at his apartment. And she's like, can't we be alone? And he's like, well, you know, you should just get used to the fact that I'm dating and meet her. You're mature enough. And she's like, thanks for deciding that for me, man. And then at some point she's like, what garden would want us planted in it now? And here's the metaphor. Yeah, yeah. Um, We're all wildflowers. Which no one plants on purpose. Yes. I would. I plan to. You know, Ariel's favorite recipe is ordered in Chinese food. That note of yours cracked me up <laughs> so hard. It was so f- her favorite recipe. He's like, she's going to cook dinner for us. Her favorite recipe is ordered Chinese food. <laughs> so funny. I love that so oh, much. And uh, she was like, I got one of everything because I don't know what you like, but I know what you like. Uh, Missy doesn't respect dress down apartment having daddy. She's like, where's your suit and tie? And he's like in like khakis and like a polo. And she's like, mm, who are you? Which, you know, she's like, okay. you are too casual. How dare you relax? Uh, While it's not under the thumb of very like regimented, frigid mom. Uh, but also Ar- don't Ariel, cheat in your life. Uh, you know, fuck them both. I'm with you, Misty. Ariel bought all this stuff for Misty, I swear. It wasn't me, it was her. That was so weird. Was fucking, yes, I'm sorry. Her room is decorated just like her room at home. It's so weird. Like, down to, like, her lotions and things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her dad came by when no one was home. Took note. And took photos. And was like, duplicate. Of her room. Had them printed out. No one was like, this looks like a 16-year-old's bedroom. Why is this old man? Why is this, Why is this old man bringing this to the Walgreens? Yeah, I don't know. And then gave them to Ariel. Ariel, and somehow she was able to recreate. I exactly. Mean, luckily, Misty's stuff was just bought that same month, because... I'm just... Hmm. Read your descriptor of Ariel. Because uh, we both described her accurately, but differently. Yeah, I just noted that she had a slightly tanned, creamy complexion. <laughs> Ooh, creamy tan. <laughs> creamy tates, creamy tan. Um, we wouldn't have a, an Andrew's book. If nothing was creamy. Without cream. <laughs> Cream-faced. Uh, I noted she has a creamy tan, braless sweater puppies, and a turquoise lace skirt. Like, it's just like a turquoise lace skirt. I also loved sweater puppies. <laughs> Your aerial notes killed me. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> sweater puppies. <laughs> just like... A- just like going buoyancies just, around. They are. You know they're buoyant. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Like if she fell off the Titanic, the Titanic, <laughs> just floating. She would not need a lifeboat. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Oh, back to the room. You know what the room doesn't have? Ariel is a normal family. The one thing I wanted, Ariel. Uh, <clears throat> Daddy. I this is Ariel. Like legitimately trying though. By the way. Fair. I mean, she's a child. <laughs> she didn't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, she's like 20, 20, I don't know. I'm yeah. guessing old enough to drink. 20, bleh. 20 early. <laughs> 20, she's, come she's, early. She's 20 early years old. Yeah. Um, but I read, I read that herself. as genuine. I read sure. that as her being like, I know we're kind of close to the same dumb. age. Like, 
like, let me try to, like, make this comfortable. I think she was really att- attempting okay. to be all right. Uh, Daddy's an anxious referee. Ariel, I worships him. <laughs> I worships. You know, um, um, Auntie Cheryl, I have an Auntie Cheryl, was talking about one of her boyfriends one time. Randy. <gasps> Randy Andy? No, <laughs> yes. Randy, who was still married and was promising her he would leave his wife. This is very Andrew's. We could write, actually, this as an Andrew's book. Penning. Um, and then, she, I don't know why she, like, thought he was cheating. And she's like, yeah, I know what you're doing. I fuck her. So, <laughs> that, that, yeah, that, that reminded that me is. of that. Uh, by the way, Ariel has milk white teeth. Um, uh, let's see. Lies were like flies to me now. I just batted them away. Um, I don't know when this happened, but um, Misty says that the sides of my stomach felt stuck together like those dumb plastic bags in the supermarket. Girl, you never went to the supermarket. You got people to do that. Oh, my God. Do you even know what a supermarket is? It's a market that's super. Okay, so, yes. Daddy and Ariel go on a date, and Misty goes a-snooping, but finds nothing. So why bother, Niederman? Why bother with that? Maybe to just show, like, I don't know, like, a teenager would do that, and, like, Sometimes you find nothing. Sometimes you just got to chill. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's a fun day while daddy buys her love. Um, But he does eventually suck at keeping his visitation schedule. Misty gets sloppy about everything because she just doesn't care anymore. And now we have Lloyd, who really does have divorced parents, brooding eyes, square jaw. Uh, He's a sexy rattlesnake. He's a sexy rattlesnake. He is a bad boy. Family court suspended from school. Lloyd laser eyes Kimball. <laughs> he literally bumps into Misty in the cafeteria. She spilled her soup. Yep. Um, everyone like, knows. Who, everyone knows who Lloyd Kimball was. The way you knew what a scorpion or a rattlesnake was. He has sexy, arrogant eyes. <laughs> he was like, this does not sound super appealing. <laughs> but uh, of course, she was like, now that I was two inches from him, I realized how attractive he was. Like you have to get that. I don't know this. It's weird that you have to get that close. Misty. Usually not how it is with people's oh, attractiveness. Oh. No, you're like, maybe from a... Fu- She's a total Monet. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, Misty imagines the cafeteria monitor is looking at her with disgust. So she wants to give him something... She wants to give him something really rebellious. So she's like, let's, let's give him something, something to talk about. I thought it was interesting because it was like, Mr. Calder, the cafeteria monitor and then she was like Mr. Calder my English teacher what I just thought it sounded like it sounded like they were two different people maybe they're twins <laughs> no he has to that's his lunch shift I know okay. but he like it seemed like he did that all the time I don't know when does he get to eat lunch uh he doesn't oh no uh he so, sorry Lloyd sasses her for being a Beverly but is this not a school in Beverly Hills I don't know but I mean I'm sure there's you know, there's that movie, Slums of Beverly Hills. I didn't like that movie. I think he just means, like, the rich part of Beverly Hills, uh, which is probably a direction. They're like West Beverly, East Beverly, North, uh, South Beverly, something like that. So they kind of like Sass, because he's like, you look like you could use a friend. And she said, are you going to lower yourself to be my friend? And he was like, ha lol, nice callback. He knew more about me than I thought. Okay. What? I think she meant, like, he understood more of what she oh. was going through. Um... He knew more about me. They have in common grow up faster. Great note, self. They have in common grow up faster. Yeah. Okay. No, they both had, yeah, they both had to grow up you faster because their parents weren't there to parent them. And you can't worry about whether it's fair. It's tr- yeah. That was good. I thought that was very good advice that, uh, that Lloyd. Sexy, sexy that, Lloyd. That rattlesnake Lloyd laser eyes gave, <laughs> gave Misty. Uh, He's like, don't get worried about that. You literally can't change it. So. Uh, he has an unregistered and uninsured motorcycle. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> mm, uh, side way. note, oh. Mummy apparently is now in Men Haters Anonymous. <laughs> yeah, that's what she... Yes, that's what Misty calls it. Yes. The M.A. Lloyd was too shy, almost afraid to touch or kiss. Misty goes to his small apartment, and it's a mess. Yeah. Tired, worn, stained, and she just cleans up. Um, she impulsively goes to see him. How wild. I know. I just, like, went to see him. <laughs> um, there's a better fuckings with Lloyd. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like a gentle, kind sexing. 
She's drunk on feelings rushing over erotic highways. Get a designated driver. <laughs> that one made me laugh, too. <laughs> like, girl, call Uber. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Misty proved she's not frigid. She was like, what if... Yeah, it was like a theme. She was like, what if I don't sex like mom? What? You mean, what if I do sex like mom? Uh, yeah, but yes. like, what if I can't sex? Call oh, come on. Like, like mom. Like, got it. Like mom, don't do a fucking... Well, yeah, I mean, in her first time with, like, Charles... Ba- Bateman Allen Fitch was Charles Bateman Allen was uh was really terrible and so she was like hell yeah okay sex can rule and I I like that for her fair 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 did they do they didn't did they do a sex with a, they did a sex they did a sex with a condom though right yeah. he had it like under his pillow because like, they nah. did a make out and he was like I just 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 in case um mm, they use daddy's apartment to play house while he's away and they get passionate on daddy's bed yeah she's like let's pretend and he's like okay till when daddy and ariel get home yeah shit and, and then Dad's it's like, a, i it's, can't believe it and she's like you fucking told me that you were away so mm. it's a blame game it really is like all three of them it's like well you shouldn't have done this well you shouldn't have done that well you shouldn't have done this all kind of fair everyone's got a good point Mommy is extra pissed that Misty was slumming. She's oh, like, yeah. and he's poor. <laughs> She's like, I've heard from someone's mother's someone that he's from the wrong side of the tracks. And she's like, oh, please, mother. Misty throws her mother's frigidity back in her face. That's a low blow. Okay. I mean, I think her mom is low blowing her. And just keep, don't blow She's high. like, I don't want to not fuck like you. That's how you lose your Men. husbands. Blow high, don't blow low. Low blow. Okay. If but we're I think you have to blow low if you're blowing. Yep. Um a job. Lloyd is expelled for fighting. Yeah, he gets he, he gets expelled for fighting, but all, he clocked a teacher when he's fighting another kid and that's okay. what led to That's the, what you did. That's the what full happens. expulsion yes. was because he had a teacher. But Dar- it didn't seem like it was on purpose. Darlene mm-hmm. the gossip can't wait to tell and Misty blows the fuck up at her. And she's like so desperate to see Lloyd and he's like I just drove around for two days. Yeah, she's like calling and like dropping no, by. And no one's answering and stopping by. No one's there. Um, Lloyd's mom, right? I don't so think I have any notes on her. Lloyd, Lloyd lives with his dad because his mom died, and she left him a trust. But like, here, no, his, you're, that's Star. Oh shit! Wait, I thought. Oh yeah, you're right because he wouldn't have any much. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, never mind. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Sh- oh, right. Yeah, they're just divorced. They're just divorced. Nothing. Um, so he rolls up on his motorcycle to Misty's Beverly Hills house. And he's like, I'm going to leave California. And Misty's like, take me with you. I'm going to. Unlike other, protagon- like, right. <laughs> Unlike other protagonists, she does not like fret over what to take. No, she's like, all this is bullshit. Yeah. I literally don't care. Which is a change. Because she wasn't like, the, the stuff to Tiger. Mm. Well, I like that too because, like, you know, she like grew up in excess. Mm-hmm. But maybe that makes sense because someone, like, sometimes our protagonists are a bit on the they start out on the poorer side, the rags side, and so they have sentimental things because they didn't have a lot. Is she like rich to ragsing? She was trying. She she do be trying. Mm-hmm. Um, she didn't leave a note. I was thinking about that Arrested Development gag. Oh right. This is why you leave a note. <laughs> they, <laughs> they literally sleep, sleep under a bridge. Yep. They just sleep under a bridge. They're like, we're going to go to Seattle. He's got a cousin there. Some fucking... He's like, I'm going to go maybe work at his garage. So we're just like, okay. He's going to be uh, James in Twin Peaks. Yes. Well, he's also going to be... Uh, what's his face in the last one? The, the, one that, the, one, the one that Brooke made out with. T- yes. Todd. Todd Bibu. Todd uh, Allen? <laughs> nope. Um, let's see. So, there there are no Beverly's where we're going. <laughs> Jesus God. Well, yeah, because you're not going to be in Beverly You're not going to be in Beverly Like, literally. Hills. Yeah, good one. Um, but this wears thin pretty quick, and Lloyd's like, well, I need a fucking real bed. Can't be sleeping under bridges. I think they were cranky also because, they, you know, they're so- riding a motorcycle, like, in the rain, and it's cold, and, like, they have no... No money. I would imagine that Misty had more than like twelve dollars. Also, these young kids never know how to budget in these books. No, never. They're like, I have five bucks. Let's spend it all, and then in a claw machine, and then, <laughs> and then worry about later. 
So, uh, Lloyd, he rolls up to a convenience store and then just comes racing out and flying down the road. OMG! And to no one's surprise, they have the popo on their tail. Yep, because Lloyd robbed the convenience store. Oh, little old lady. For motel monies. For motel monies. Um, arrested. Whomst would you call first? I would probably call my dad because mom would be like, I can't, I'm fainting. Yeah, she called daddy first, which was a good choice. Lloyd has a public defender and goes to juvie. Misty's dad hires a lawyer and she gets probation and therapy. And if this does not encapsulate our justice system, I do not know what does. For real. <clears throat> um, I guess she heard that he was made it out somewhere okay. west, more north. Westmore of, of the juvie, like he did. Like she, he wrote him. He wrote her like once or twice, and she wrote him, and then she hasn't heard yeah. from him. And, uh, the, the, and that's like kind of like yeah. she wraps up her story. Mommy continues to have male suitors and also hate them. Uh, daddy is an okay daddy, but he's starting to pick apart Ariel. And meanwhile, Misty's like, ah, stop, stop bothering me so much. Kind of didn't mind her. Uh, Misty's anger is a concern of Doctor Marlowe's. Um, and then the girls are leaving, and, uh, Star's grandma has a dented car. <laughs> Jade accuses Star of scaring Kathy by essentially being an angry black lady. Oh, yeah. And, Jesus uh, Christ. blah, blah, goodbye until tomorrow. Yep. And, uh, that's... That's the end. That's the end of that, boy. Uh, yep. Stay tuned for the next boy, girl. Which we're gonna record we're gonna right now, within and then you're gonna hear... Later. Uh, another other Friday from now. So that was Misty, and don't get Misty in the eyeballs. I um, didn't at all. <laughs> get Misty in the eyeballs because you didn't have to read it, unless you did, in which case I'm very sorry. I am getting Misty for you. I, I am as well. In the also. eyeballs, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Misty for you everywhere. Goodbye, Goodbye, bye, 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 bye. Thank you for listening to VC's Pieces Podcast. We hope you enjoyed it. Technical support was provided by Boo and Matt. Thanks for answering all of my stupid questions. Music is Dust in My Attic by Broke MC, used under a Creative Commons license. Email us at vcspcspodcast at gmail.com with your thoughts or comments. You can also follow us on Instagram. We are at vcspcspodcast. New episodes are released every other Friday to give you time to read along. In the meantime, tell your story bonding and for god's sake don't stay together for the kids.